I've been flying the drone around every couple of days just to try to report as much garbage as I can, try to keep my area clean. And it's really fascinating what I'm finding. What I'm seeing is that there is a lot of dumping and that the dumping is really concentrated in a few specific areas. So I'm, I'm just doing this as a way to kind of keep visibility on the problem. Through N1 and the San Francisco Department of Public Works are coming out and cleaning up the trash like they uh, said they would. So that's great. And uh, it's working. So like I'm, I'm having a pretty easy time filing the complaints through my app and uh, or making the requests for cleanup through my app. So that's great. And I'm getting a lot of attention. So I've been posting to Nextdoor like a map view of a photo of a map showing and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll throw it up here on the screen now showing like how much trash I'm finding on each day. And it's just amazing. You know, some days I'm finding 18 piles of garbage. Other days I'm finding 60 piles of garbage. And it really depends on how far I fly the drone and how big of an area I cover. Uh, and it depends on the day, I think. Now, I haven't flown it enough to really get the statistics yet on which days I don't have. I haven't spent enough time flying it. It's going to take a few months of flying the drone every couple of days to figure out the pattern. But I really am seeing that there is a huge problem here, uh, much bigger than I thought. And it's really fascinating to see. And I feel like I've got a very much a bird's eye view of the whole thing and I'm collecting the data. So I'll show you some of these map screens and you can take a look for yourself. Additionally, I'm exploring other ways of, of using this technology. One of those ways is helping a survey business, an engineering survey business to identify and mark different things that they need for their engineering site plans. So things like manhole covers, trees, curbs, parking spaces, building outlines, you name it. All the things that uh, someone building a new building or developing an existing building wouldn't, all those things that they would need to know about and need to know the exact location, machine vision and deep learning models can pull those locations of those things out of imagery. So that's a really cool project and a really cool application of technology and, and a potential money maker. The cool thing is that these two things share uh, a very similar set of technologies and techniques that I can apply across the board. So I'm taking a lot of my learnings from the trash project and applying them to this engineering survey, land survey project. And then I think I'll feed back in the learnings from the engineering land survey project back into the trash detection project. And eventually, I'm imagining this platform will become sort of a unified platform where any problem that can be solved with aerial image uh, or object detection from aerial images can be applied, uh, it can be solved with this technology. And I'm super excited about working on this. I still am kind of trying to get to the point where I'm making a little bit of money doing this. And there's some, there's some, uh, a little bit of light on the horizon on that front. And I have interest from different parties who seem willing to pay something for it. And so we're exploring those options in the future and what that might look like. But for now, I'm just having a great time making progress and, try, and really having an impact as much as I can on the problems that I'm trying to deal with. So I uh, just wanted to give an update and that's it for today, but uh, enjoy some tasty B-roll of the area and uh, also some cool garbage photos. All right, see you next time. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. It comes down to all or nothing. This time it's for real. Stop.